A new year and Philadelphia students are back in class with masks. They'll keep them on through next week as long as COVID cases stay low. I'm Jason Martinez. I'm Sheba Russell and this is all part of the district's policy upon returning from winter break. Jennifer, how's it going so far? Yeah, we went to a high school in Philadelphia and saw masking in full force. We talked to a school health official who says there was an increase in COVID-19 cases after last year's winter break. They're hoping to avoid that. What would the drive the inside be? The first day back from winter break, the student body and staff of more than a thousand at George Washington Carver High School are wearing masks. We did hand out about a little over 200 masks this morning just to get students back and acclimated again. I think uh, we got pretty comfortable without wearing masks, and so we had to get comfortable again wearing the mask. The school district of Philadelphia is requiring masks in all of its schools to prevent the spread of COVID-19 after the holiday break. It's very comforting to me because my sister is immunocompromised. Charity Robin's sister has epilepsy. The 17-year-old was scared of possibly bringing an illness home, knowing full well many travel and get together during this time of year. She's relieved universal masking is back. There are a lot of students that are upset about it, and I understand, especially if that's not like what they're used to or what they're comfortable with, but it's just a matter of like safety. Dr. Kendra McDow is the school system medical officer and meets with the Philadelphia Department of Public Health regularly. She says it was their recommendation to mask up for two weeks after break, and they'll keep monitoring disease activity to reduce the chances of spread inside schools. If we are seeing concerns for, of course, outbreaks in our schools, we are going to make sure that this, at the school level, those mitigation measures are being put into place, such as masking. Masks and hand sanitizer are available in each classroom, and Principal Daryl Johnson hopes these measures will keep students in school and learning. Because we're coming back from a holiday break where everybody was out and about and on vacations, and we want to make sure that we're all being safe. Masks are required at Philly Public Schools until next Friday. It will become optional, but highly encouraged starting on January 16th. Sheba and Jason. Jennifer Lee, thank you very much. Well, not everyone's happy about this mask.